presents 2004 high school football. Tonight, it's the Springfield Catholic fighting Irish against the Mount Vernon Mountaineers. We kick off another season of high school football on a warm evening, Labor Day weekend upon us, and that means high school football is back. Tonight on opening night, it's the Catholic fighting Irish and the Mount Vernon Mountaineers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mount Vernon. The first time we've uh, made the journey down here for football, Don West, along with Mike McClure. And we kick off another high school football season tonight for you here on Cable 36. And we feature two solid programs in Catholic and Mount Vernon. Catholic, a state semifinalist a season ago. They went 11-2. and two, And Mount Vernon, a solid campaign under Coach Dan Henderson at 7-3. and three. Mike, you followed the Big 8 Conference. Time. What do the Mountaineers bring to the table this year? Don Dan Henderson in his eighth year of guiding the Mount Vernon program. They were seven and three last year. They were tri champs in the Big Eight Conference. This is a very young Mount Vernon football squad. That's the bad news. The good news is these kids are going to be around for three and possibly four years. We'll see some freshmen in the Mount Vernon lineup tonight. But Dan Henderson is very, very excited about the youth of this football team. The Catholic Fighting Irish are a young team as well. They return just three starters on each side of the football. Bobby Cornelson's team uh, last year was made it all the way to the state semifinals. He has won a state championship in years past at Catholic. Always a good program. You don't know how Catholic is going to start out their seasons, but they always finish strong. They have two starters back on offense. How about two 1,000-yard rushers in Tyler Steeb and Eric Goals? They will get a lot of the offensive duty tonight, so it's a pretty good nucleus to build around off a state semifinal team, as you said, from last year. Catholic and Mount Vernon doing battle tonight. It's a warm, nice evening to start <laughs> high school football for 2004, and we'll be back to kick it off from Mount Vernon High School right after this. Looking on the field, the Catholic Fighting Irish and the Mount Vernon Mountaineers set to do battle on opening night here at Mountaineer Stadium. The first time we've made the trek down I-44 to Lawrence County to catch the Mountaineers. And a good matchup, Mike, for opening night with the Catholic Fighting Irish here. I guess technically we're at the middle school. I said high school going out, but the new high school is down on the highway. And here at the former high school, now the middle school, where historic Mountaineer Stadium sets, and it's it's been here a while, hasn't and, it? And it's good to see Dan Henderson again, Don. There are a lot of changes in coaching in the Big 8 Conference. Matter of fact, half the schools in the Big 8 have new head coaches this year. Brett Gosh at Carl Junction was a former head coach at Cassville. Larry Perkins replacing Larry Bunn, the longtime coach at East Newton High School. David Carpenter taking over at Lamar when Tim Casper stepped aside and Rob Townsend taking over for Chance Westrom down at Seneca High School. Bobby Cornelson back in the saddle at Springfield Catholic for his 10th season. Just a stellar record for Bobby, 84 wins and 23 losses. Catholic won the state championship in 1997 and took second in 1996 and last year were knocked out of the state playoffs by Lawson, and the only other blemish on their record was an early season loss to Carl Junction. Other than that, a 9-1 and one regular season and a couple of playoff wins for the Irish. Catholic takes the field to receive the opening kick. Dan Henderson starts his eighth year at Mount Vernon tonight, record of 45-27. and 27. These teams will be similar in terms of the players back. Catholic with three starters back on each side of the ball and Mount Vernon with four on offense and three on defense. It's about 83 degrees at game time. The sun shining right into your camera and that's what you get when you come down here to Mount Vernon for football. But it won't be long before the sun drops down and we'll have just a beautiful evening for opening night here in Lawrence County. Don, always something very magical about the first Friday in September. The Jamborees, of course, a week ago. Tonight it begins for real week number one of ten. And really happy to have everyone along, along tonight. And we welcome everybody to Lawrence County. Jordan Fawcett will kick it away for the Mount Vernon Mountaineers. Both teams green and white in their color scheme. It is Mount Vernon wearing the all green and Catholic and all white. Good spirited crowd, small town football as it were here for opening night and great to have you with us for the first time from Mountaineer Stadium. That will sail into the end zone. 
over the head of Tyler Steve, and Catholic will bring the ball out to the 20-yard line. The Fighting Irish on their offensive line have Ira Darrow, James Wanica, Sean Coleman, Keith Mintnish, and Joe Scott left to right. And we'll get a look at the skill players for Catholic after this first play, which will come from the 20-yard line. Jake DeRee is the quarterback for Catholic. And again, great experience coming back. And Eric Goals and Tyler Steve. And Goals gets the call on first down and picks up about three yards out to the 23-yard line. DeRee the quarterback. Eric Goals and Tyler Steve. Drew McMillan a wide out. Scott Pro and Alex Widensee are the tight ends. Second down and seven after the pickup of three by goals. And I set behind Jake Dury and a toss goes to Steve. He'll swing it out to the right as a first down and has run out of bounds out close to the 40 yard line. We'll see it. Appears he stepped out at the 35, but that'll be enough for the initial first down for Catholic. Mount Vernon defensively, Josh Klein at one defensive end, Brandon Adams at a tackle, Travis Huggins in the middle, Trenton Henderson at the other D tackle, and Jonathan Aldridge at the end. Travis White, Tristan Campbell, and Chad Whitaker at the linebackers, and in the defensive secondary, Kyler Wilson, Trokey, and Jordan Fawcett. It's Duree on a keeper from the 35. He picks up three out to the 38-yard line. Brandon Adams, defensive tackle, six foot, 197, a junior in on the stop that time for Mount Vernon. So three different running plays, three different ball carriers for Catholic. Jake Duree, the quarterback, six foot, 170, and a senior. Goals is a senior. Steve is a senior. So not too many returnees in terms of starters for Catholic, but they've got the right ones in at least Goals and Steve. Here's Goals out to midfield, and he drags a defender with him into Mount Vernon territory. 14-yard carry for Eric Goals. Last year, 190 carries as we see the replay. Nice hole up the middle, right between the M and the V. And the 50-yard line, drug down by Kyler Wilson, 190 carries, 1,216 yards, and 18 rushing touchdowns for Eric Goals last year. First down for Catholic. The Irish keeping it on the ground and pounding it downfield on the game's initial drive. On a counter option, it's Duree. He gets down to the 43-yard line and adds five more to his ground total. It'll be second and five for Catholic. Don, watch the offensive line for Catholic. Look how they're firing off the ball. Look at the holes they're opening up. You know, three, four, five yards at a time makes the play calling pretty easy for Coach Bobby Cornelison. All on the ground so far for Catholic. This is goals. He's got... More yardage as he pounds it down inside the 30. He's down to the 26-yard line. There is a flag on the play, though. Hold everything. The referee tonight is Joel Easton. His crew is from the Joplin area. The umpire is Scott Spencer. The line judge is Robert Barnes. The linesman is Jerry McDonald. And the back judge, Denny Hensley. Referee Joel Easton, and it's against Catholic. And sizable run by goals is going to come back and you get a little maybe a jump early on the right side there Joe Scott 6'4", 212 a junior he and Keith Mentnish are the only two juniors among the starting offensive players it's nine seniors start on the offensive side of the football for Catholic but as far as returning starters it's just three Steve goals and the left tight end Alex Widensee literally is a new cast of characters off a team that was 11 and 2 last year and reached the state semifinals. Back to second and 10 now for Catholic. Just inside the Mount Vernon 48. Toss goes to Steve and he is met behind the line of scrimmage and a huge loss. It's Chad Whitaker, an outside linebacker that throws him back onto the Irish side of the 50-yard line. 
Talk about smelling out of play. Watch Whitaker at the top of the screen. Goal's not able to get the block in time. And Steve racked up for a big loss back to the 46. Loss of seven, third down and long now for Catholic. It's Goals straight up the middle. Goals has got the first down and he's off to the races. And he is down inside the 10 yard line caught finally by safety Kyler Wilson or he would have taken it to the house. And Eric Goals turns in a big early play for the Irish. 47 yard run for Goals. Again, it's all about how the play starts, yeah. Mike, with the big holes he's got to work with. And then 13, Kyler Wilson finally catches goals, but not before he gets down to, we'll call it the eight-yard line. Goals again. Off the right side, he's down to the five, maybe the four. Catholic knocking on the door in that Run on third and 17 for goals to set up this situation now. It's second and goal for Catholic at the four. Four minutes expired. The game played entirely on the ground, and Catholic has sustained the drive for four minutes. And they're four yards away. Keeper for DeRee. And he is caught short of the goal line by Tristan Campbell, the middle linebacker. Gets down to the two, it appears. And it will be third and goal for the Irish, two yards away. Tristan Campbell, the leading tackler, coming back this year. 84 tackles. Strong middle linebacker, 5'10", listed at 216, and a senior. Tenth play of the drive started on the Irish 20. Third and goal for Catholic. Goals. As the end, yes. Touchdown Catholic. Eric Goals finishes the drive for Catholic. It takes an even five minutes. And the Irish on the board first. Strong running by Goals. And apparently the ball got across the plane of the end zone. The Irish on top, 6-0. And goals, one of the best extra point kickers that you'll ever see in high school. Kicked 45 last year for the Irish. <laughs> That's a ton. <laughs> Good snap and hold through the bright green goal posts it goes. And the Irish, with seven minutes to go in the first quarter, Lead it seven to nothing. For Catholic on their first drive, ten plays, 80 yards, five minutes. And Eric Goals ran the top, ran the ball uh, five times for 69 yards on the drive, and the Irish a seven nothing lead five minutes in. Chad Whitaker is the deep man for Mount Vernon. Goals lets it rip. It will be Whitaker at the four yard line. 25-30, down at about the 31, and Mount Vernon will have a little bit better field position for their initial offensive set of the night. And the Mountaineers offensively on their line, Trenton Henderson, Travis White, Andy Seitz, Travis Huggins, and Matt Pirahi. And the quarterback, Thomas Brock, just a sophomore, Tristan Campbell, the fullback, Chad Whitaker at the tailback, Curtis Osterloh, Josh Klein, and Jonathan Aldridge are the receivers. Thomas Brock, six foot 165, and what a brilliant freshman year he had as a starter for Mount Vernon last season. He gives it to Whitaker, and he powers across the 40 for a Mount Vernon first down on their initial play, 11 yards. Defensively for Catholic, Drew Biney, Ira Darrow, Sean Coleman, and Scott Pro on the defensive line. Alex Widensee, Alex Wright, Eric Golds, and Jake DeRee, the linebackers. Drew McMillan, John Hennessy, and Alec Watkins in the secondary for Catholic. At their own 42-yard line. 
Chad Whitaker again off the left side. Just a couple of yards out to the 44-yard line. And the Irish collapse on him defensively and getting up off the bottom of the pile as the D-tackle Sean Coleman, a 210-pound senior wearing 77 for the Irish. These two clubs have played each other since 1996. There have been eight meetings. Catholic leads the series six games to two, but Mount Vernon has won two of the last three years. It was Catholic winning at Swiss Elm Field last year, 20 to seven. Second down. Brock's gonna keep it. Not sure if that was a broken play or by design, but looks like he kind of stumbled out of the blocks. He gets across midfield to the Irish 49. And it'll be third and a yard for the Mountaineers. Thomas Brock, the youngest son of Mount Vernon basketball coach Skip Brock. Of course, Skip was up at Camdenton for a few years and had a prior stint in Mount Vernon before going up to Camden. Was also an assistant coach at Missouri Southern in Joplin for a year. And Matt Brock was quite a right. basketball player up there at Camdenton when Skip was there. Third and one. We go to Chad Whitaker, and he has the first down and plenty more. Finally ridden down at the Irish 30. That's about a 20 yard pickup that time for Chad Whitaker. They'll mark it at the 29 and Mount Vernon returning the favor with a ground game that's eating up yardage here in this first quarter. Alex Widens, he finally making the stop for the Irish. 91 tackles last year. Returning starter on defense, 5'11", 174 senior. Goes to the fullback this time, Tristan Campbell. Big kid, 216 and a senior. And he has about three yards to the 26. It'll be second and seven for the Mountaineers. Tristan Campbell, second team all conference in the Big 8 a year ago. 148 carries, 610 yards, three touchdowns. Used primarily as a blocking back, but a, a lot of respect from the Big 8 coaches being named second team as a junior. On second down, it's Whitaker. He is tripped at the line of scrimmage and falls ahead. Goals got a piece of him as he went by. And he's down to about the 23, maybe the 22-yard line. It'll be another third down situation for Mount Vernon. Irish head coach Bobby Cornelson, as we see the replay here of Whitaker, three yards up the middle. Coach Cornelison's going to think he's a part of the Big 8 Conference opening up tonight at Mount Vernon, next Friday at Cassville, and then on the 24th of September, they're in Monette at Burrow Fowler Athletic Field to play the Cubs. Third down for the Mountaineers. And it's Whitaker, and Goals catches him, it appears, short of the first down stick. He had to get to the other side of the 20-yard line and is going to be a yard short. Bobby told us that he used to think he was a part of the SCA, the South Central Association. He used to play Willow Springs and Ava and Mountain Grove and those teams every year. And he's coming west of Springfield now. Well, here's fourth down for the Mountaineers. Fourth and a long one. In fact, nearly a full two yards to go. And Mount Vernon will go for it. The fake. Brock rolls. Oh, and he's got a wide open man at the goal line, and it's a touchdown. Curtis Osterlo with the catch. See if he makes a clean catch on this play fake. You thought Brock was just going to keep the football. Look how open he is. Let's see. Couldn't tell because the official was coming through just about the same time to see whether the ball did bounce and hit the turf or not, but it was ruled a touchdown. Fawcett on to attempt the extra point. Jordan Fawcett. Thomas Brock is the holder. Bit of a low snap, but it gets there. The kick is up. The kick is no good and apparently wide to the right. So Catholic will maintain the one-point lead. Irish seven, they're low. Look where the knees are right now. Yeah, the knee down there at about the two and the elbow maybe down a little bit shy of the goal line too. But it's ruled the touchdown. 
But the extra point miss puts Catholic up one, seven to six. 302 left in this first quarter. And this is going to angle over to John Hennessy to bring it out down the sideline. Nice return out to the 39. John Hennessy, a junior, just 5'8 and 145, but turned on the heat that time and has the Irish in good shape. 30 yard return that time for the Irish, who started their first drive out on their own 20, start this one on their own 39. Both these schools are class two teams. There is a flag on the play. Uh huh. Well, apparently an illegal use of hands is going to bring this one back. The flag's right at where the play ended right. at the 39. So maybe only 10 yards back from there. And it will be put down at the 28. So the flag was just Figured Bobby <laughs> <laughs> just a, a yard before the play ended anyway and 10 back from there at the 28 yard line for Catholic and first and 10 for the Irish. Tyler Steve to the outside caught as he gets to the first down stick and we'll see where it's spotted. Put him out at the 38 yard line. Well, the Irish have as good a returning skill players, Mike, as you'll see in most class two schools and goal, goals and the deep. Steve for 10 yards on that carry and a Catholic first down. DeRee this direction to the 45. Seven yard pickup, it'll be third down and three. Second and three. Right. Mount Vernon playing in the Nixa Jamboree last week with Nixa, Buffalo, and Glendale. And Catholic part of the Fair Grove Jamboree with Fair Grove, El Dorado Springs, and Miller. Second down and three. It is goals. Straight up the middle into Mountaineer territory down to the 47-yard line. That's enough for an Irish first down with 2.03 left in the first quarter. Catholic leading Mount Vernon 7-6 here in the early going. Nice trap blocking that time by the offensive line of the Irish. Deree option, toss to Steve. Play ends at about the 40. We'll see where he might have stepped out or got caught. It's about the 42-yard line along the far sideline. It'll be second down and six for the Irish. Mike, you've done a bunch of games here, haven't you? It's Big 8 country, of course. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So I remember when the St. Louis Country Day Rams came down here on a Saturday afternoon and played in a regular season game. I believe Bob Elder was the coach back then. Just a packed house and a neat atmosphere. On a Saturday. Yeah. Here's Steve. Still going. He may be gone. Tyler Steve breaks through the traffic and is off to the races. Touchdown Catholic. 42 yards for Tyler Steve. The Irish making it look easy. Steve, 65 yards on five carries, his first touchdown of the night. When you don't bring those big boys down the first time, they're awful tough. Good speed by Tyler Steve. We'll give you his numbers. 131 carries last year for 1,019 yards, 13 touchdowns. Had a hamstring injury during spring track season, but judged by that run, he appears to be fully recovered from that. Goals for the extra point. Jake Dury will hold it. 
And the kick is true to form and good. A minute 36 to go in the first. An offensive shootout so far. Catholic 14, Mount Vernon 6. That flashlight or something. <laughs> Setting sun in Lawrence County. It will be Whitaker. And he can't get an angle and is brought down at the 16-yard line by Alex Widensee. James Wanaka there, too, and Mount Vernon. Not nearly as good a field position this time at the 16. Don, very rare to see Mount Vernon give up two first-quarter touchdowns. This is a defense last year that allowed just 12 points per game. And the, the most anybody had scored against him last year was 20 points on three different occasions. So very surprising to see the Irish come out like this. Joey Mayberry, the defensive coordinator, year in and year out, a super job. Brock to throw. And we'll see if the catch is made. It is. And that's Jonathan Aldridge, a tight end, at the 24-yard line. <laughs> Awfully close. Did he get it in? <laughs> Second and three for Mount Vernon. Whitaker across the 30 has the Mountaineer first down. Matt Floyd, the safety on the stop for the Irish. But it will be the fourth first down for Mount Vernon here in the first quarter. John Hennessy helping out there, too, for Catholic. First down at the 32-yard line. A minute 18 to go first quarter. Catholic on top, 14-6. Play action, Brock. Rolling, looking, the catch. That's Aldridge. Jonathan Aldridge. To the 43, 44 yard line. John last year as a freshman, Thomas Brock. Nothing fancy, but he never really hurt himself. His passing numbers last year, 50 of 129, 629 yards and three touchdowns. So far in this first quarter, he's a perfect three for three. And already has a passing touchdown. Mm -hmm. So three all of last year. <laughs> One in the first quarter on opening night. Referee Joel Easton steps in. With a minute to go in the first. And the kicking, kicking team was still at the 40. There. It's <laughs> the first game. And now they're going to send Mount Vernon back to the huddle. And just kind of hit the reset button and do this one again. Catholic up 14 to 6. One minute, one second left. First quarter. Whitaker straight up the gut. Gets about five, brought down by 99, Scott Pro, defensive end. What's the center? Andy Sight, 77. Look at the holes he's opening up. See a nice block there. He started all 11 games, or all 10 games last year. Big kid, 5'10", 280, and a senior. Second and six for the Mountaineers at their own 48. Whitaker hit a wall at midfield. That wall was Eric Goals, and there's a flag on the far side of the field. The clock stopped at 16 seconds left in the period, and we'll check the penalty. Five-yard procedure against Mount Vernon. And their first penalty of the night. Mm -hmm. 
Left tight end, maybe. Jonathan Aldridge may have started rocking back a little bit before the snap. I do like the new rule in college football this year where they announce the number of the guilty party like they do in the, in the pros. That won't come to high school, though, I'm sure. Well, the first quarter clock now is going to run out. It looks like before Mount Vernon can get one more playoff. And Bobby Cornelson's Fighting Irish are going to take a 14-6 lead into quarter number two when we come back to Mount Vernon. We're with you in Mount Vernon. Catholic leading at 14-6 as we start the second quarter of play. Opening night, Labor Day weekend, all the hoopla of a new football season. Everybody's undefeated. 0-0 <laughs> oh all around. We head into the second quarter. Mount Vernon looking at second and 11, and here is Mike McClure. Thank you very much, Don. Sophomore quarterback Thomas Brock under center. Going to set up a screen pass to the near side. It is tipped and incomplete and nearly intercepted. I believe Scott Pro got a piece of that. And that ball was up for grabs. Watch 99 coming from straight in the center of your screen. Yep. Pro. Alex Wright there, 20, had the best shot at it, but it falls incomplete. So we're just underway in the second quarter, 14-6. Irish with the eight-point lead over Mount Vernon. Mountaineers have it third and 10. Brock with a short pass. It is dropped by Tristan Campbell. Well, Tristan Campbell will be the first one to tell you he should have caught that one. But even if he had, he probably was not going to get the first down. Needed to get to the 46-yard line. Yeah, the Past Catholic the 50, 46. So yeah. So he was still eight yards from where he needed to be had he even caught it. So our first punt of the night by either team. Jordan Fawcett will do the punting. And back deep for the Irish, Drew McMillan. McMillan will let it bounce. Going to be rolling inside the 20. It'll roll dead at the 14-yard line. 42-yard punt with all the roll. And it'll be at the 15-yard line for the Irish. Surprised to see McMillan let it go like that. Had time to pick it up, but the Irish will start 85 yards away from pay dirt with 11.40 to go in the first half, leading 14-6 on the strength of two touchdown runs. First one by Eric Goals from two yards out. Second one on a 42-yard scamper by Tyler Steve. There's a mix-up in the backfield. And the ball carrier fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's Goals. Yeah, this play was doomed for the, from the start for Catholic. And it winds up netting nothing. The Irish with their state championship in 1997, capping off a 14-0 season, beating Monroe City 28-0, and that's the team the Irish lost to in 96 in the state finals, losing to Monroe City 21-zip. Second down and 10, Catholic. Nice run by the first back through. Golds out to the 20, maybe the 21-yard line. Goals, eight carries, 82 yards. Nice job of jumping over a would-be Mount Vernon tackler. The Mountaineers claiming their state championship back in 1978 under Coach Pat Wozniak. They were also undefeated that year at 13-0. And they had a runner-up appearance in 82, lost to Valley 37-0 at Arrowhead Stadium. That 78 title was the last year that the state championships were actually played on home fields. That's 79 was when they started moving to Bush Stadium and then Arrowhead and the larger stadiums, including 
sometimes in Springfield. And now the Edward Jones Dome. Right. Goals, no gain. Brought down quickly at the 21. Josh Klein on the stop. who will bring up fourth down and looks to be a punting situation here for the Irish. Oh, good job by the Mount Vernon defense. First time they have held the Irish. Both defenses kind of settling yeah. into the rhythm of the game now after an early ground attack that netted three touchdowns. Goals will punt. Fawcett deep. Return across the 50, 45, 40, down to the 39-yard line. It's Ethan Trophy. No fine return by Trokey to the 39. Only about a 34-yard punt. But 15 on the return for Trokey. And the Irish are in business at the Catholic 30, or Mount Vernon at the Catholic 39. Yeah, by far their best starting field position, and the whistles blow. Equipment adjustment. Actually be blood on the uniform, perhaps is why heading to the Irish sidelines is Alex Wright. James Wanaka coming in for his spot. Mountaineers trail 14-6, 9.26 to go in the second quarter here at Mountaineer Stadium. Thomas Brock, first back through. That is strong running by Campbell, carrying down to the 32. He is a horse. The pitch fake here, and then Campbell dragging three and four white clad defenders with him a couple of yards. Gain of seven for Campbell, second down and three, Mount Vernon at the Irish 32-yard line. There's Whitaker for a first down to the Irish 25. The change move again for Mount Vernon. Mike, the Mountaineers thought of highly in the Big 8 Conference this year, picked second by the league coaches in the preseason poll behind Carl Junction. Cassville. A team that's on the move under David Large that were 0-10 two years ago. And made the state playoffs last year. Picked third this year in the Big 8. Toss sweep to Whitaker. Bouncing outside, close to a first down around the 15-yard line. So the Mountaineers doing it inside, and they're showing some pretty good speed once they get on the outside. Whitaker is a fun back to watch. Reminds you of Steve on the other side. Nine yard gain officially, 66 yards on nine carries for Whitaker. He fell about half a yard short of the first down that time. Good down. You want to gamble on a down, second and one, pretty good chance to do so. So they'll just run a base play to Whitaker off right tackle, has a first down, and brought down at the Irish 13. The rest of that Big 8 preseason poll, Carl Junction, Mount Vernon, Cassville, one, two, three, then Aurora pick fourth, Monette five, Seneca six, Lamar seven, and East Newton eight. There's a look at Dan Henderson. All three of his assistant coaches are Mount Vernon graduates. They don't stray too far from the nest down here. Joy Mayberry, Chris Johnston, and Dustin Baldwin. Dan Henderson saying his team's strength is the knowledge of the system. Kids coming in are doing the same things they did the previous seasons. First and 10, Mount Vernon at the Catholic 13. Thomas Brock on the keeper. Inside the 10, down to the 9-yard line. And on the Catholic sideline, working with Bobby Cornelson, I got to meet someone that I've wanted to meet for a long time. He has an assistant coach.